Hi, in this video we are going to see how to import our hair from Blender to uh, Character Creator. The, I, I like to do, um, there are two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the normal way, I think like, and then a way that I use like a hack. Uh, so the normal way would be like, uh, we are here in Blender. because we should be exporting uh, and make sure scalp and hair, okay. So let's export it together. Export, FBX, export. Uh, and I like to do accessory and, I'll, and afterwards we are gonna convert it to hair, but I like to do first of all as a, an accessory. Uh, then uh, when you have more multiple meshes asking me if I want to merge them and I, I yes I want to merge the the, the different meshes and now uh, I'm gonna change the origin so it's easy to to manipulate and it's always a little bit like in the Z and the Y that we have to kind of edit Okay, well, uh, I think that's good. So the way you would do it now is you will come here to the textures and you would uh, say, well, this is a digital human hair. And then we will be adding our maps. So base color. I mean, it's, it's not looking amazing. And it's not really the opacity. Oh, I remember for some reason, uh, I'm gonna launch it, launch texture. For some reason, the, this opacity, um, it's like it doesn't really work as a, J, uh, as a JPEG, I always, I'm gonna convert it to PNG and I think it, that's when uh, it really works. It's weird. So now I'm in Photoshop and I'm gonna say export, save for web. Right, you can do save as, but you used to, to do the, and then I'm gonna do PNG 24, save. If I come here now and do load, hair alpha, Now it, it's transparent. So yeah, it's a weird thing. I discovered that by accident as per usual. And now here, another thing you can do if that bothers you a little bit, what I like to do is come here and for preview, uh, I like to do the smooth mesh. And then you can play with all the, you can play, you can add all the maps, play with the colors and do all of that. Uh, but I want, to tr I want to show you a different approach that it's much better than this and it's a little bit like easier. And we are gonna place one of these, it doesn't matter. That hair comes by default with uh, character creator. So uh, I'm gonna select the hair. And here in the material, you can come here and say, uh, I want to save this material. And then I'm gonna save this material in my, uh, this material, I cannot, it's not gonna be with your files because um, obviously this is a, 
I cannot be like giving this hair for free, but if you have Character Creator, you'll have it for free. Okay, the thing is that you need to save the material. I'm gonna call it material hair, and then I'm gonna save it. Then I'm gonna come here to the scene and let's remove the hair. And now I'm gonna bring again my hair. And now here in textures, instead of adding our 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 maps and textures and all, do all of that, we can come here and say, well, load material. And I want to load my hair. And yes, do all of that, apply. And now, yeah, you're gonna say, well, but that, that looks, that doesn't look good. But that's because we are using a different, uh, we are using a different uh, maps, but we are gonna update now. And uh, on the other hand, now I can even like adjust this. And let me let me fix that very fast. I'm gonna come here. Uh, I'm gonna say edit mesh. That's the that's the thing I don't like about. Uh, it's like I don't understand why I cannot have like exactly the same, you know, like the same position of. And now it's gonna be hard because we have we have all that hair, and it's gonna be I guess hard to just pushing the trying to push the scalp over the over the head. Okay, at least this part is kind of okay. Here we have a little bit of a mess. I don't know if it's gonna let me, maybe I can just do a selection, a sculpt element, a face. I'm gonna try to select all of that and then just move it a little bit. Uh, let's do um, soft selection. Okay, I was doing the wrong one. Let's do here, uh, I think it's, uh, where is it? Instead of, I'm going, I want to do a global instead of local. Here, uh, world. And then I can, now. Okay, much better. Now, I'm gonna select the hair again, and we are gonna replace our maps. So go to the textures, here, we are gonna do, uh, yeah, we are uh, hair albedo. Oh, I see, I see what's going on. I think the opacity is coming from having the alpha on the base color. That's why uh, you need to have your own, uh, like, um, I guess a different, a different, uh, yeah, PNG, well, what I did, I don't know, I don't know why, um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I'm in occlusion. Sometimes software does, it's weird, do weird things. It's uh, not gonna uh, blend. Blend, uh, not sure what map it is, but we can, we can, because we have several, we can probably use uh, maybe death. Here you can play with different, if it's not death, uh, maybe ID. And you're just playing with the, the one that you think looks better. Or the other one that usually you can use is the root. Or even the translucency. Let's try, let's try. This one looks good though. Let's try translucency. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, what else? Here, usually we have to, yeah, the flow, it's important. We have it. It's the, the direction. And then we have the root maps. And we have, that's a good thing that we have, because we use 
that uh, app, the, uh, this one, the Fiber Shop, now we have all the maps. And you're gonna have, I'm gonna provide all of these ones, so no worry about it. Uh, that's the ID. And I think that's it. The only thing we have to do next is the scalp. Um, for the scalp, uh, you can do like a normal PBR. You could do you could do hair as well, but I don't think we need it. So the base color, scalp, maps. Uh, we don't have a base color for the scalp, but I'm gonna do. We can do the um, the alpha. Or even the thing. Uh, let's do, let's do the thickness. It's gonna be probably all all white, but uh, opacity. We want. For opacity, we want the, the alpha alpha mask. For the bump, that came already directly. Normal, normal, uh, ambient occlusion. This is always a little bit annoying. It's uh, I mean, there is nothing we can do. We have just to do all of those. Uh, and roughness, do we have roughness as well? I'm not sure. Um, remember, we that's what... Um, no, we don't have roughness. Okay. Rough, oh, roughness, we can leave it. Uh, displacement, glow, and then because obviously uh, we are using the base color as a that map. What we need to do here on the diffuse, it's come and provide a brown. Let's do... We can even pick, pick a color that's similar to the... And then just bring it down. So here, now we have our hair in a, in Character Creator. And then the last thing you want to do, it's probably go and come to the, to this tab, and then you can do create hair, and then you say yes. Uh, this is uh, base all, apply. And now your hair is going to be attached to your character. Or that's all for now. In the next video, we are going to be doing the same, but for Unreal. So see you soon. Bye bye.